In this video, we will cover counting atoms, which can be the important difference uh, between uh, ordering water and ordering hydrogen peroxide, like this unfortunate uh, individual does. So this guy is like, I will just have some H2O. And this guy says, I will have some H2O2, which is something completely different. So he drinks his hydrogen peroxide, and then, you know, he doesn't uh, react well to it. And well, this guy has no sympathy, because obviously he didn't know how to count atoms. That's why it's important. So how to count numbers, uh, how to count the number of atoms in a chemical formula. So a chemical formula consists of element symbols and numbers that indicate how many atoms of each element are present. For example, 4Fe2, SO42, in brackets, with a 3, um, tells you the number of each atom there is in uh, this, this chemical formula. So each of these numbers tells you how many atoms there are within that uh, chemical formula. So we'll break down all these different numbers, um, where they're placed and what they mean, and how they tell you how to count uh, atoms. So we'll start with uh, symbols. So the symbol of an element represents one atom of that element. So for example, if you just have the symbol Na, this tells you that you have one atom of sodium. So if you have the symbol O, this tells you that you have one atom of oxygen. Now with subscripts, the subscript is a number written in the lower right, uh, right corner uh, behind the symbol of an element. If there is more than one atom of the element, then a subscript is used to indicate the number of atoms. So the subscript here in this case is this number here written um, in that lower right hand corner. This is a subscript. So that is used when there is more than one atom of that element present. So for example, H2 tells us that there are two atoms of hydrogen. So if we have the chemical formula F2, this tells us that there are two atoms of fluorine. Now, subscripts can be found outside of brackets as well. So we can have brackets in our chemical formula, and we can find subscripts outside of those brackets. So a subscript outside of a bracket multiplies all the elements inside the bracket. So for example, if we have the chemical formula Mg3, PO4, and then the PO4 is in brackets, and outside of the bracket we have a 2, this formula tells us that we have three atoms of magnesium. So remember this subscript here goes with magnesium. And then for anything, uh, for any of the atoms inside uh, the bracket, for any of the elements inside the bracket, the number just outside of, of the bracket here multiplies all of the elements inside the bracket. So in this case, we just have uh, the symbol for phosphorus. So remember, that's just one of that element. So we have, in this case, um, to figure out the number of atoms of phosphorus, we would multiply 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. So we get 2 atoms of phosphorus. And then we have the symbol for oxygen, which has a subscript 4 next to it. So in this case, um, we would multiply the 2 outside of the bracket by the subscript 4 for oxygen. So we'd have 4 times 2, or 2 times 4, which would give us 8. And this tells us that we have 8 atoms of oxygen. So now we can do the same uh, with the following formula. Here we have Ca, um, and then in brackets, H2PO4. And then inside of the bracket, we have a subscript 2. So for calcium, you know, we just have one of those uh, symbols there. So it tells us we have one calcium uh, atom. And then we would take the two outside of that bracket and multiply it by everything inside of the bracket. So in this case, this will tell us, like I said, we have one atom of calcium. We have four atoms of hydrogen. So we have that 2 uh, multiplied by the subscript 2 next to the uh, hydrogen symbol, which is 4. So it gives us 4 atoms of hydrogen. And then um, we have, again, 2 uh, multiplied by just uh, the 1. So 
we only have one uh, atom of phosphorus. So two times one tells us we have two atoms of phosphorus. And then we have uh, two times four, which gives us uh, eight atoms of oxygen. So now we can also have coefficients. A coefficient is a number written in front of a chemical symbol and indicates the number of atoms of that element. So for example, if we have a three in front of the symbol for carbon, that C, that tells us that we have three atoms of carbon. If we have a five in front of this symbol Na, this tells us that we have five atoms of sodium. Now, a coefficient um, is also a number written in front of a chemical formula and indicates the number of molecules of that compound. So just note that a coefficient multiplies the number of atoms of each element in that formula. So whatever number we have in front of that chemical formula multiplies um, all those elements as well. Um, and that would include uh, subscripts. So we'll look at our first example here of H2O. So we have a coefficient of two um, in front of the H2O. And so that uh, coefficient of two is going to multiply that subscript of two next to the hydrogen. So we get two times two, which is going to equal four. And this is how we get four atoms of hydrogen. That coefficient is also going to multiply the number of oxygen atoms. And in this case, we just have the symbol by itself. So we just have one atom of oxygen. So our coefficient is going to multiply that one atom of oxygen. So two times one is equal to two. And we get two atoms of hydrogen. Let's look at the following example here where we have um, three CuSO4. So we have the symbol for copper, uh, symbol for sulfur, and symbol for oxygen. So the three, that coefficient of three, is going to multiply the number of copper atoms that we have. So we don't have any subscripts uh, next to the copper, so it's just one. So three times one is equal to three, so we have three atoms of copper. Same with sulfur. So we just have the symbol for the element itself, which just indicates one atom. So we have a coefficient of three times one is equal to three, and that gives us three atoms of sulfur. Now here we have three times a subscript or a coefficient times a subscript. So we have uh, that coefficient of three, which is gonna multiply that subscript of four, which goes with the oxygen. So in this case, we have three times four. So there's our coefficient. Here's our subscript for oxygen. And that will give us a total of 12 atoms of oxygen. So in the formula here, I'm just going to pull up the answer and then we'll break it down in terms of how we got each number. So in the following example, we have four PB and then in brackets, we have NO3 and then a subscript two just outside of those brackets. So when we add everything up and multiply everything up, so that four is gonna multiply a uh, number of lead atoms. So, you know, it's four times one is equal to four. So that's how we get four atoms of lead. Now for the atoms of nitrogen, remember that subscript outside of the bracket is gonna multiply all of the number of atoms inside the bracket. The coefficient is also going to multiply those numbers as well. So in this case, we have two uh, times one, because we just have the element symbol by itself, and that subscript of two is multiplying that. And then we have our coefficient of four. So we have two times one times four, which is equal to eight, and this is eight atoms of nitrogen. So here's our subscript. There's the element symbol, and then there is the coefficient. For oxygen, we would do the same thing. So here, our subscript of two is going to multiply that subscript um, next to the oxygen inside the brackets, and the coefficient is going to do the same as well. So in this case, we have our two, our number 
uh, our subscript number outside of the bracket multiplied by the subscript next to the oxygen, so that three, and then this is all multiplied by our coefficient of four. And this will give us, so two times three is six, and then six times four is 24. So this will give us 24 atoms of oxygen um, within this uh, particular chemical formula. So that is the end of this video for counting atoms.